Today, we are learning from Dene knowledge keepers from the Yellow Knives Dene First Nations in Chief Drygees territory of Treaty 8. It is February, and we are heading to fish camp on Tin D, or Great Slave Lake. Fish are an important relative and teacher of the Dene. These harvesters know exactly where to set their nets under the ice and have come back to check them. Looks like they're full of fish. The harvesters take only what they need. They don't waste the fish, and they share the catch with the community. Everyone is involved in the harvest. Some people are good at setting nets. Others are good at filleting the fish or making dry fish. And many people are good helpers. Elder Irene Sangris is teaching how to make dry fish. Dry fish keeps fish for a long time. And then three. And I'm just going to use the tip of my knife because I don't want to go inside and cut all the gut because there's a, uh, there's a bladder in here that, that you don't want to bust. So I'm just going to stay on top like that. And once I hit right here, there's a bone that goes like that, like that, and it's a B. And you got to cut right in between that V in order to continue cutting until you get to this part. Um, yeah. And after a while, I, with me, I just cut right through. <laughs> I can find it so easy now. Okay, now I'm going to take the gut out. One, no, one, two, three, and the gut comes out. And then you put forward. Four. See, the gut comes out on the fourth one. And then this is the one you don't want to bust, see? It's almost, you see that yellow thing there? That's going to um, go all over the fish and that's going to ruin the fish. So I'm going to take it out before that happens. There. Oh. Okay. See, I got it out. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take this part out here. Right here, I'm going to cut it like that. And it's good to have a nice round knife to cut this like this. And that way, you see, I can just scrape it out. See how easy that comes out with a, with a round knife like that? See, just like that. Take all that out. That's a good knife. Yeah. Take all that out. And now, I'm gonna take the gills out too. And take it out like that. Just like that. Okay. Just because the fish is so slippery, that's why I like to use gloves when I uh, work with fish. Okay, now we got our fish all clean, and then I'm going to wash it, get it ready for cooking. Now it's ready to cook. See how easy that is? See, it's nice and clean now. And now I can make two servings. Now Irene is demonstrating how to make fish fillets to fry and eat. So that fish there is that's cooked is white fish you can help yourself. You got forks? Forks? I can grab forks. Uh, the wa oh the was here. Forks would be good. Oh, playing outside. Oh, it's just a grown up. It's just a grown up. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so now you guys will know how to make filet when you go out camping or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know how to do it. Maybe we're taking the how they do it. But this one here, you just fresh, eh? Hey? 
Yeah. Can you draw a yeah. white fish too? Very good. And I wash it off like that. Some seasoning salt, different kinds of seasoning salt. Put, my, put this in the flour, have my frying pan over on the campfire. And and I would uh, put butter in the put butter in the frying pan. And that's it. Right on time. Is good. That was mine. <laughs> Fishing is an important practice for the Dene and it has sustained the Dene nation for thousands of years. Fish camp brings everyone together. There's a lot of laughter. People share food and stories and take care of each other. The fish take care of the Dene and the Dene take care of the lake. Massey Cho, Irene. Oh, I know his jacket. He walks for the bowl. There are some fish cooked here. There you go. Do you want to take this home? Oh, sure. You can fry it or whatever for supper. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>